What is up, XRP community? Welcome back to another video. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you guys like daily crypto content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So a few random things before we get into the no action. Sorry, no fluff, no BS, all action. Machine learning algorithm sets the price for Bitcoin January 1st. I know this is an XRP channel, but Bitcoin kind of steers the general market. So there is a machine learning based algorithm called price predictions, basically takes a bunch of these technical indicators like the moving average, RSI, MACD and Bollinger Bands. And it's saying that on the first day of 2023, which is kind of two weeks away, happy holidays to all you guys and your families, um, Bitcoin's going to be trading at 16.7K. Now I do see Bitcoin going down to 10K. So if you're stockpiling crypto right now, I can't tell you what to do with your money, but it might not be a bad idea to hold fiat because I think we see another 50% market crash. And this is really funny. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeted at Elon Musk saying, you're a public figure, an extremely controversial and powerful one. I, got f I get feeling unsafe, but descending into abuse of power and erratically banning journalists only increase the intensity around you. Take a beat and lay off the proto-fascism. Maybe try putting down your phone. In the meme lord himself, Elon Musk goes, you first, LOL. I'll give that a like. That was pretty funny. Um, and if you guys like these videos, join my Telegram chat. Link is in the video description below. In the future, it'll cost money. I just put a lot of information in there I don't talk about in videos. So if you guys like these videos, check out the Telegram. It's in the video description below. Um, check this out. Breaking news from today. Ripple to facilitate remittances from 19 European countries to Africa via its partner. In February 2022, payment, payment platform Modular announced a partnership with Ripple, one of many, to enable seamless payments in the UK and Europe. Together, the two fintechs allow businesses to run real-time payments powered by Ripple financial technology, RippleNet. Guys, RippleNet does not use XRP, but RippleNet is the bread and butter. Why is it the bread and butter? So the reason these big banks and Ripple works with hundreds of them. The reason they aren't using XRapid, which is the product that uses XRP, is because there's no regulatory clarity. No general counsel, no lawyer at a big bank is going to recommend that the bank uses an unregulated cryptocurrency. Now, in the future, when XRP has that regulatory clarity, Ripple is already working with hundreds of banks with its RippleNet product. Once XRP has that regulatory clarity, why would a bank not want to use it? XRP and XRapid enable on-demand liquidity. They save the banks money and time. And time is the most precious resource. To a bank, it might be money. But my point about talking about RippleNet is, yes, it does not use XRP. But if you know sales, it's much easier to make a sale once you already have made the, previous, like the first sale. So Ripple already has hundreds of banks on the list. We've heard Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, talk about um, Bank of America specifically on the sidelines ready to use xrp and interesting fact look at berkshire hathaway legendary investor warren buffett why why does he have a ton of bank of america stock what is bank of america doing differently well maybe they're warming up to the innovation that is x rapid and on-demand liquidity which is going to help every bank and then keep in mind also last month ripple officially announced its arrival in africa with the collaboration of msf africa a digital payments gateway Think of MFS Africa as like the PayPal or Venmo or Cash App of Africa. It's basically a mobile payments app, a way to send money mobily. And Africa has tons of people. This was a big, big client for Ripple to add on. XRP's price is pretty encouraging right now. Something really quick, something technical. Um, 38, 38 cents is a big support for XRP. And if XRP continues to hold the 38 cent level, we could see the token price move up to 47 cents. But guys, this stuff really doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, we're talking $10 XRP, $20 XRP. Imagine the FOMO after a positive lawsuit outcome. It's going to be crazy. And look at Binance, guys. I've talked about Binance a lot in my recent videos. And if you guys use Twitter, uh, my Twitter is also in the video description below. Um, I love talking to you guys. Binance is now offering 125x leverage. That means you could deposit $1.00. And you could trade like you have $125. There's three ways you go broke, my brothers and sisters. Ladies, liquor, and leverage. No offense to my ladies, but if you know the divorce courts, marriage doesn't really treat men too well. Binance is not looking good. Why would they offer 125x leverage unless they really needed money? 
And if you guys want to support the channel, hit the like button. I'll never ask you for money. I just ask you to hit that like button. It's, it's the holidays. Give me a gift. Um, thank you in advance. I want to play this video from Coach JV talking about organizations everyone should be watching. And then I'm going to show you this article about Ripple's connections with the IMF and central banks. I go to this article all the time, but this is probably the most important article for the entire XRP community. And it goes to a, a conference called the Bretton Woods at 75. And it's a conference with the IMF and the World Bank, two big organizations. If you guys want $41 guaranteed, sign up on Webull, deposit just a penny. You have to deposit any amount. I said deposit the minimum, just a penny. And you can get up to 15,000 in free stocks. Now, typically you just get 40 to 300 bucks, but you're guaranteed $40 for signing up and depositing a penny. Sell the stocks, withdraw them, go buy Dogecoin, XRP, whatever you want, McDonald's for the family. But don't miss out on this. It's a great offer for just signing up and depositing a penny. Guaranteed $41. Links in the video description below. Now for this clip from JV, and then I'm going to dive into Ripple's connections with central banks. These are the four organizations you should be following. I know there's a lot of distractions going on. But remember, as you look this way, there's always another narrative going on this way. I wish I could say to you that with a $30,000 or maybe a million dollar or $10 million crypto portfolio that you're going to change the game. And a lot of YouTubers are out there saying they have inside information. But I tell you what, there's a small group of very, very wealthy people. They don't have the information. Trust me. I don't have the information and these YouTubers don't have the information. What we do know is the game's always been the same. Very small group of people own a large amount of wealth, but we let that happen. It's a battle against our own consciousness. That's for another time and another story. These are the four organizations that I watch every one of their moves and all the information that they put out. Everything is hidden in plain sight. They're not trying to hide this from you. So number one is the World Economic Forum created in 1971 by Klaus Schwab. The World Economic Forum has Ripple as a partner, BlackRock as a partner, and Larry Fink is on the board of trustees to move the mission forward of the World Economic Forum. Number two is the IMF. They're the International Monetary Fund. They have been really breaking down the last year on crypto and regulation, and they're saying it's here to stay. Number three is the BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, showing you central. So he mentions the World Bank, and I want to go to this really quick. So Ripple, uh, in their connection with central banks, this conference, the Bretton Woods at 75, is the IMF and the World Bank turning 75 years old. The focus was how the U.S. dollar as the world reserve currency is not going too well. If you live in the third world or basically any country outside of the U.S., your inflation is way worse than the U.S. The U.S. has the least inflation, and it's still very high, because our currency is the world reserve currency. Any other country... The, they, they rely on the U.S. dollar as the world reserve currency, and so their economies take the, the brute of all this inflation pain. What they mention in this conference is the Trifflin Plan and the Keynes Plan. These were plans talked about in, after World War II in 1944. And what you'll find interesting, the Keynes Plan would have involved the creation of an international monetary unit. And guys, this is what I think XRP could play the role as. They call it the Bancor. They didn't choose this plan, and they instead set up the gold standard with the U.S. So the Bancor was a super national currency, right? XRP has been described in central bank documents as a super national currency. And then in addition to this super national currency, we would need an international central bank. They call it an international clearing union. In the article, they go on to say that the IMF will be this global central bank, okay? It's very clear if you watch the whole conference... Um, and if you just Google Ripple and their, connect their connections with central banks, you can find this all. But they say you could imagine the IMF could centralize reserve sharing agreements by administering a global reserve facility, XRP, at the IMF, perhaps by building on existing drawing rights. The IMF could also multilateralize swap lines, blah, blah, blah. Essentially, guys, this plan lays out a supranational currency in an international central bank. Times are changing, get with it or get lost. If you guys made it to the end of the video, comment bank gold below. That lets me know you made it to the end of the video. 
If you don't want to comment, that's fine. But when you make it to the end, I really do appreciate it. So comment bank gold below and join my Telegram chat. It's free. Links in the video description below. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. God bless you all. Until next time.